I really hope people find something that they actually really enjoy and work out how they can actually make money from it or just sustain a living from it, a comfortable living from it. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good morning, good morning, Heather Smith. Previously, episode 1749 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just two years, one month, 21 days, eight hours, and 30 minutes since we last oh. had our <laughs> recorded conversation. That was then, this is now. Heather, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. I loved all those numbers being an accountant. I thought so. I said, if it's one person that's going to appreciate these numbers, it is definitely the zero specialist, Heather Smith. <laughs> Such a grand opportunity to reconnect with you. The last time we spoke, there were a ton of things that you've already completed. I believe eight books, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Of course, Zero for Dummies is something that we talked about a lot, but a lot was to do with what you were accomplishing by the online space, the cloud space, if you would. So please give us an update. What's going on with you today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I had a, a massive year last year. I uh, was invited to attend an accounting salon in New Orleans and there was only about 30 people at the accounting salon. But what that did was sort of triggered a lot of interest in what I was doing. And so I uh, I was putting a lot of information out there on social media and on Twitter. And someone uh, across Twitter asked me to come and speak at their event in New York. So I then flew up to New York and spoke at an event there. And that just sort of uh, had this domino effect of all these wonderful opportunities for me. And it was funny because it just kind of happened over Twitter. It was a free event. Event. And there wasn't a huge number of people there, but it was really engaging and really positive event. And there was some fantastic New York pizza there. But I came back here to Australia um, and was asked to go around Australia and New Zealand multiple times talking to people about how they can automate their accounting business and facilitated and curated lots of workshops across Australia, supported by two of the major accounting professional bodies. So that was quite exciting. That's amazing. The work that you put in, of course, yes, it could look in a snapshot as though Twitter and what you did online was part of it. I would go back, peel the onion back a bit. The work that you put in, the, the focus that you've had, the morning routines, getting up, clearing your mind, getting in your writing time. Is that something you still do? Yeah, absolutely. I'm very disciplined about focusing and reviewing on what needs to happen and really enjoy what I do. Like I kind of jump out of bed 4 a.m., 5 a.m. very early and focus on what I need to do and what needs to be done through the day. And it's actually sort of a holiday period here in Australia at the moment. So during this time when I um, wake up in the morning, I actually would listen to an audio book. But then during more of the work time, um, focus on listening to podcasts and focus on then sort of writing writing and pulling out what I need to do in terms of creating content. And I'm looking at creating another couple of groups this year, helping other people create content around accounting technology because it's a really specialist area. And I figure I've done um, quite well at that. So I figure that's a way for me to actually give back to the community and answer any questions they may have around that. That's wonderful. Where can people connect to find out more about that? They can reach me on Twitter at HeatherSmithAU and I'll point them in the right direction of what's going to be suitable for them. I find Facebook groups are a really good way of connecting with people and I run a number of them at different levels for different sort of interest areas. So this one will be Accounting Technology Content Creators, which is a really tight niche area, so hopefully it works out well. But that's okay. I think, the you know, Potentially, as you're finding, um, people out there across the internet can niche into a really small, tiny area, really focused area, but do really well out if it's an interest area of theirs and just connect with those people who are also interested in that particular area. I believe it's very important, mostly 80% of the importance being the focus in what you love doing and then allowing that to be the thing that creates the magnet, if you would, because then it seems as though there's longevity when a person does that. Otherwise, it's something that you jump in and jump out and jump in and jump out where you're changing. And that's cool as well. 
but I found that what you are doing in terms of, hey, I love this, and then you're yeah. helping others who love it. Yeah, that helps yeah. tremendously. Now, you did the podcast, you did 48 episodes, and then you stopped that, right? You put that on the back burner. Is that something that you may start over? Um, I have. Um, I am occasionally doing um, the odd podcast when it comes up and when someone comes across my uh, vision who, who I want to include in the podcast. But I am getting more into it and I do believe that's in 2020 something that I'm going to be more heavily focused on. Um, there has been a, a sort of a burst in people in the podcasting scene. Um, but I think um, for you, like for these, these are really short interviews and my typical podcast is actually a really long interview. And that still, again, has its own niche area uh, for people who like that 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 in-depth, long, long interview around accounting technology. <laughs> I love the concept of the podcast. I know cloud stories is what you called it. But yes. of course, as I told you the first time, I love Tell Me What You Do. And I will tell you how to automate it. So yeah. <laughs> it's just a great name for a podcast. Now, Charlie was someone that get got a wrong to helping you in the midst of everything. Is Charlie a wrong still? Yeah, oh, really sadly, Charlie passed away mm. late October last year. So that's been a very sad time. And um, it's been very sad getting used to a new normal of not having him around um, every every moment of the day. Um, so that's sort of uh, uh, been a, a roller coaster of grief um, dealing with that. Um, dogs are a wonderful companion in the office um, as well as in life and as well as in family. Mm. Um, and he was the best best dog <laughs> Yeah, accept my sympathy over here on the 12 My Convos podcast team. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Procrastination is not in your dictionary. No, <laughs> no, absolutely not. No. I was interesting because I just read a book by uh, Andre Agassi, his um, autobiography, and he absolutely hated tennis. And, and literally everything was about this is the tennis game I played and I hated it. And this is the next one I played and I hated it. And I really don't understand how uh, people go through life and how any amount of money can be worth waking up every day and hating what you do. Um, and I know he's a lot wealthier than I am, etc. cetera, but I uh, uh, really hope people find something that they actually really enjoy and work out how they can actually make money from it or just sustain a living from it, a comfortable living from it. I was intrigued by the amount of money that the prince is giving up for a family life like it hit me that was yesterday morning it hit me i said wow it's so important to love what you're doing that imagine that you're leaving a kingdom to go support your family now your family is there right so yeah, how absolutely. have they been impacted your husband and your two children been impacted by everything that you do your order your systems oh they really um like having me here in the office and uh um, everything kind of just, everyone does the, their own thing. Everyone has their own interest areas and where possible, I try and support them, but where possible, they try and support me. Um, so at the moment, for instance, everyone's being quiet at their end of the house so I can do a podcast interview. Um, but we all have really, uh, strong interests in our own areas. And unfortunately, um, Australia has just gone through terrible bushfires and, uh, my daughter's been in her room knitting, little comforting homes for um, some of the creatures that, that are in need of assistance so mm -hmm. they can send that out to the wildlife centres. So everyone does their own thing um, and has their own sort of focus and we uh, we have a really technology-enabled house. Um, that's one of the things we're really big on. So there's there's a you, there's someone you can there's a there's a there's a robot you can talk to in almost every room to get <laughs> to do things for you, which we uh, we kind of lean into to try and automate as much as possible. With the fires, even with Charlie passing, there's just the element of the reality of death. Is that a conversation that you have that's in the forefront of your mind between yeah. you and yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, recognising that a billion creatures died in the Australian fires um, is quite overwhelming and quite sad. And we have been actively talking about it in terms of what charities would you like us as a family to donate to? I thought that was an important conversation. We've actually mm -hmm. donated to a number of charities, both that will um, uh, help humans, but others that will help humans help animals. Um, 
we've talked about um, the blood drive and whether whether we're able as anyone's going to sort of can, can actually because they need a lot of blood during this sort of period. Um, and again, um, my daughter helping uh, so particular, so so um, comforting uh, outfits for the animals um, to, to home them. What about you, though, like your life, the possibility of you losing your life? <laughs> Bizarrely, the bushfires are nowhere near us, so all I need to do, like, so so it is actually, it's traumatic watching it, um, but what I'm trying to do um, with my community is help share as much information as possible, um, and uh, we're identifying people who are um, providing support in particular ways and then sharing that information out. So I know I have a big social media presence, so some of the organisations are saying, look, you know, we can come and help you, or we're going to... Um, um, drop the subscriptions for a couple of months if you just contact us and I'm trying to facilitate the the sharing of that information out there um, and um, monitoring what's happening and understanding where we can help without um, uh, in a positive way rather than sort of in a hindrance. Heather, you are absolutely amazing. It is a both inspirational and motivational to get in here, have a conversation with you a couple of years after and to know that you've not given up, that you've continued along your path. I do thank you for sharing that with us today. In closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Hey, um, look, what I'd like to say, I think, which I sort of touched on is find find an area that you like. And, and in this online world, it, you don't need to sell to your next door neighbor. You can sell globally um, and, and you don't need to make a huge amount of money to have a really comfortable life um, and, and just find what you like and work out how you can make um, an income from it. That would be sort of the, the one message I would say to people out there. Um, work, work out how you can do it and good luck to them well thank you <laughs> amazing audience again Heather Smith Heather a pleasure I treasure thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute convos with Angel Jones this podcast is produced by pod edits visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing <laughs>